Welcome to my amazing Picturing America presentation. My goal is for you to stand up and cheer. I did my project on Charles Sheeler's American Landscape. He painted it in 1930 after he was given permission to spend six months photographing the Ford River Rouge plant. He was always interested in industrial things, like the plant, and it showed in his artwork. He often photographed something and then painted it rather than paint one object for weeks. He painted his River Rouge photos throughout the entire decade of the 1930s. American Landscape was one of the first painted and most famous. If you look closely, you will see that he put tremendous detail into every inch of the masterpiece and used many lines in his painting to make it look more realistic. This was because he was a leader in the precisionist movement. Notice the small person running across the train tracks. You will see similar styles in his other artwork. This next painting is called Americana, painted in 1931. Look closely at how much detail he puts into the rugs on the floor and how there are very few lines that aren't straight. Next is View of New York, painted in 1935, consisting of only a plain room with a few pieces of furniture and a lamp. This painting is called River Rouge Plant from 1932, one of the works from the Ford Plant series. This is another Ford painting, Fugue, painted in 1940. This is one of my favorites. This is Amoskeg Canal from 1946. One thing in particular that Charles Sheeler rarely does is paint pictures with people in them. The Amoskeg Canal is located in the industrial city of Manchester, New Hampshire. This is also one of my favorites because it looks so much like a photograph. It is called City Interior and was painted in 1936 as another Ford piece. One of his more famous works, Interior with Stove, captures the eerie feeling of being in a dark room with scary monsters. Steam Turbine is another Ford painting, painted in 1939. Finally, Classic Landscape from 1931 is simply American landscape from a different angle. See the silos and train tracks? This adds a new perspective to American landscape, and the style is nearly identical. I hope my presentation has made you want to stand up and cheer. I also hope that your mood has improved during this presentation. Thank you for watching. You have reached the end of the presentation. You may now leave. Goodbye. Picturing America. 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 America. Picturing 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 America.